We've been using wind turbines to turn wind into electricity for well over a century. But here's something most people don't think about. What happens when these massive machines reach the end of their life? Turns out, this green energy has a major problem. Because once the turbine stops spinning, we are left with tons of leftover parts. So, what do we do with them? Protecting the planet looks at an unexpected side effect. By the year 2050, the world's wind industry is expected to produce more than 47 million tons of blade waste. The answer blowing in the wind raises an uncomfortable question. Hi, I'm Freddy. This is Good News, and today we are diving into the hidden story behind the life and afterlife of wind turbines. Wind energy is playing a big role in our shift towards clean energy. It's already the second most used renewable source globally, right after hydropower. By the end of 2016, over 341,000 wind turbines were already spinning across our planet. And that number just keeps on growing. In the last eight years, global wind capacity jumped from about 480 gigawatts to over 1,100. That's more than double. Right now, Europe alone has enough wind power to produce 285 gigawatts of electricity, enough to power more than 210 million homes. And as the demand for energy keeps increasing, this graphic shows how turbines are getting bigger and taller every year. Right now, an average wind turbine blade on land is around 52 meters long. But the biggest ones are over 131 meters long. And the biggest offshore blades are even bigger, over 150 meters long. These monster blades are made by Chinese companies. And just to give you an idea, they are bigger than both the Big Ben and the Statue of Liberty. But here's the problem. Wind turbines are not perfect. Their effectiveness depends on many factors. Obviously, the most important one being the weather. If wind speeds are too low, the plates simply can't spin, and that means there's no power being generated. This makes them somewhat unreliable when compared to other energy sources. But here's the even bigger problem. Like all machines, they are not built to last forever. Most wind turbines have a lifespan between 20 and 25 years on average, depending on where they are and how harsh the conditions get. So, what happens with these massive turbines after their life is over? That's where one of the biggest challenges comes in. Some components like the foundation, tower, gearbox and generator can easily be recycled and reused. This is because around 96% of wind turbines are made out of recyclable materials, which is a good start for sure. But those gigantic blades are a completely different story. They are made out of resilient composite materials, so that they can survive decades of stress. This makes them incredibly durable, but also extremely difficult to recycle. The main component of these rotor blades is fiberglass. Fiberglass is made up of fine strands of glass and plastic, held together by resin. And it's extremely difficult to break down these components and recycle them properly. This is why way too many of these decommissioned blades end up buried in large landfills. And as things stand now, researchers believe that we will have over 43 million tons of rotor blade waste by 2050. That is simply not sustainable. But here are the good news, because there are many smarter and greener alternatives being explored to keep old wind turbine blades from polluting landfills. But I should note here that a lot more awareness, innovation and investment is needed to make wind energy truly green. Okay, but let's take a look at what people are currently doing to keep these plates out of the landfills. Well, in the Netherlands, this company is turning decommissioned plates into functional and sustainable public structures, like benches and monuments. So far, they have reused 32 plates to build playgrounds and benches, and the plan is to expand this initiative to other countries soon. Bicado might be the best example of their work. It's a playground in Rotterdam with tunnels, ramps and slides, and all of it is made out of five old plates. The reuse of these plates saved about 90% on carbon emissions compared to a normal playground. And over in Ireland, another company is doing something similar. They have partnered with engineers to turn old plates into parts of bridges. As an example, look at this 6 meter long bridge that's made out of old rotor plates. 
And there's also a second similar bridge in Draperstown. But that's actually not all what they are doing. The company is also building e-bike charging stations, bike shelters, furniture and picnic tables using the old plates. And reusing these plates in public spaces seems to be a bit of a trend right now. Because in early 2025, Dutch engineers unveiled this modular bridge and it also has an old wind turbine blade as its core structure. Large-scale 3D printing was used to attach the roadway deck and safety railings directly onto the turbine blade. The final structure spans about 12 meters and is strong enough to carry up to 5 tons. And all of that with almost zero waste. But obviously there are only so many parks, benches and bridges to be built and surely it can't be enough to account for all of the blade waste cluttering the world's landfills. So, with millions of blades that need to be recycled, companies are looking for new ways to reuse them. And that is why an American startup in Iowa came up with a way to shred old blades into strong fibers, which can then be mixed into concrete or mortar. And their mechanical recycling process does not require any heat or chemicals, meaning it doesn't cause CO2 emissions from burning the plates. So what that basically means is that construction companies can now reuse the old blades instead of using steel rods or plastic to reinforce things like pavement, slabs and precast blocks. It's cheaper, more sustainable and just as strong. But these old blades are not just used in construction. Other people have come up with some more creative ways to recycle them. There's a company in Australia called Draft Surf that is owned by professional surfer Josh Kerr. And Kerr collaborated with Spanish energy giant Asiona Energia to create surfboards made out of old wind blades. Using old turbine parts from the energy company, Draft Surf made 10 prototype boards. To be clear here, it's not the entire board that is made out of wind blades. But they built the board's core with strips of recycled blade material, made the fins from recycled fiberglass, and even reinforced the outer shell using particles from old turbine blades. Okay, but let's be honest here, those 10 surfboards are not going to solve the problem. Asiona Energia has actually 31 wind farms in Australia, and most of them are over 15 years old. That means a lot of their blades will be decommissioned pretty soon. So they will need to make a lot more surfboards. Or they can look at what is happening in the Netherlands, where something really cool was done to an old wind turbine in Eindhoven. This is a tiny house made from the top part of a 20-year-old wind turbine. It measures 3.5 meters wide, 10 meters long and 4 meters high. And despite being a smaller turbine than usual, it fully complies with the building code, making it a completely functional living space. But let's face it, right now these are mostly small-scale innovations. What we actually need is large-scale implementation to ensure that these old blades don't just pile up in our landfills. And we will need everyone to get on board and do their part. Especially countries like China, the United States and the entirety of Europe, where blade waste is projected to increase a lot over the coming years. Also, a big problem still remains. The fact that these original blades are made out of non-biodegradable fiberglass which basically means that they cannot be broken down or dissolved naturally. And this makes recycling them extremely difficult. So the question is this then, wouldn't it just be better to invent a biodegradable material to make these plates in the first place? And well, luckily scientists are currently looking into doing just that. Researchers are currently experimenting with materials like thermoplastics, which are fully biodegradable. And blades constructed with these thermoplastics actually perform just as well as their fiberglass counterparts. And they can last just as long. And then there's also this German company that has created blades made entirely of wood. They still have to decide where they want to install these blades, but the plan is to do it somewhere in Europe in the next year. As for the original problem with existing fiberglass blades, some people have actually come up with ways to break down the tough blade composites. Companies like Carbon Rivers in Tennessee and Decom Plates in Denmark use a high heat, no oxygen process to break the blades down and recover clean glass fiber. And those reclaimed fibers can then go into new wind plates or entirely different products. 
Cabin Rivers actually already processed over 1000 plates back in 2024. And of course, the idea is to keep that number growing. I would love to read your thoughts in the comments below. And also, if you have any feedback for us, please share it in the comments below, because we try to improve with every single video. Anyways, thank you for watching and I see you in the next video.